So here I am in Blender 4.2 and I want to show you where is the bloom and how the node glare in Compositor works. So first of all, let's select the render view and let's make the background dark and let's open this and select the shade editor. I'm going to stay with this cube, press N to add this and I'm going to try to make it more metallic. So let's increase this and maybe I'm going to make it like this. By the way, I'm going to hide the background and select this perspective, more or less something like that. And what I want is to set the light and make it brighter. 5000, let's try. Okay, perfect. So now what I want is to go to the compositor. If you want to select the compositor really fast, just tap the letter C. And now select here, use now. And to show the bloom, we need to type Shift A, glare, this node, and add it here. And here we have five modes, and the first one is called blue. So this is the option that we miss in Blender 4.2 in render. So how this works? First of all, to see the effect of the bloom or any of this one, you have to go to this arrow and select really important always. If not, you are not going to see anything. Really important. Now, we cannot see too much because, first of all, when we work with Bloom, we need to work with the threshold. So, if you decrease this, as you can see, you are making everything glow. And if we increase this, we are defining only to make glow, to make Bloom, the brighter pixels. So, if you don't see anything, just try to start with this threshold. So, if I increase this, as you can see, only it's making brighter this part. By the way, I'm going to open a new tab here and select the shade editor. And I want to see if it's really white, not. And maybe I want to make it something like this. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. We have loom, mix. What is mix? Mix basically, if we select minus one, we don't see this effect. So it's like not applying the effect. And if we select one, we only see the effect. So we don't see the object. And if we select zero, we see half and half. So you can play always with the mix to show less or more of the effect. And the size is the size of the bloom. So we can decrease or we can increase it until nine, as you can see. And here we have the quality when we are going to render this effect. So you have three options, high, medium, and low. Now let's see the other effects. Let's select Ghost. So Ghost, as you can see, it's creating this effect. By the way, if you don't see too much, let me, for example, try to make the light brighter, maybe 10,000. So what is this? Look, if I select the cube and I try to move it, you can see that we see like a little cube inside. Actually, we see a lot of cubes. So the effect ghost is like having the silhouette with flares. And here you have the number of flares. So more you increase this, more copies we have. This, this is just to make it white or with colors. The mix we know already what is, so we don't show the effect. We show only the effect or we leave it in the middle. On the threshold, we apply it to everything or only in the brighter pixels. For example, here, as you can see. And always remember that depends on the angle of the camera. Okay, let's continue and select the third one, streaks. So what is this? This is like having little copies. I'm going to decrease the threshold and I'm going to make it, let me make it bigger. So if we increase this, you're going to see better the effect. So streaks basically does this effect. And here you have the number of iterations. So you can leave it with less or more. This is the mix. We already know what is the mix, the threshold. And this is the number of these lines. So you can select two, three, four, etc. And this is the angle to change the angle of this effect.
and then we have Fog Glow. This is similar to Bloom, but with less options, because we have a mix, threshold, and just a size. So it's like a simple Bloom. And the last one, we have Simple Star. So basically, what those, as you can see, is an star effect. If I make a zoom out, you're going to see better. This what does. This effect. So you can increase this effect with durations, the mix we already know, the threshold we know, and the fade is just to make this more fade or not. And this is just to able this angle, 45 degrees, or have this angle. So that's all. As you can see, it's really easy to understand. I recommend you to practice. And remember, also, you can enable here emission, and then it will change all the effects because now we have all the objects emitting light. And this is the normal bloom, as you can see. So I recommend you to practice to see the difference between each one. And that's all for today. So I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.